Hello, Jackalus. Twenty five? Where am I? <laughs> You're in my own personal paradise. In case you didn't know, I brought you here. Why? And what do you mean by your personal paradise? What I mean by that is, I created this place so we can talk. <laughs> you created this place? But how? That shouldn't be possible for a normal human being. <laughs> oh, you think I'm a normal human being? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no human being. I'm not a normal person. What? What do you mean? Uh, usually people understand these stuff. I'll just do something that will make you believe that I'm not a normal person. You know, people do call me by personal names, like 25, for instance. Or, people will just call me <laughs> Elijah. Ain't that just crazy? <laughs> what? How did you? <laughs> oh, your reaction is <laughs> just hilarious. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for giving me that laugh. <sighs> What are you then? Hmm? If you're not supposed to be a normal being, who are you and what are you supposed to be? You know, I've asked that question before. What? Of who was I meant to be? What my purpose was in life? What was I meant to do? <sighs> but now I finally have an answer. To create entertainment. Who do you think brought you in this world in the first place? <laughs> you mean... It was... It was you! <laughs> well, you sound shocked. I thought you would notice by now. Since I am talking to... An indestructible force, am I not? Mephilus? You think you're powerful than me? Oh, I don't just think. I know. No! No! <laughs> Power. And why have you been hiding this for so long? How do you think they all would feel if I just suddenly just show my power? The, the cousins I grew bonds with, the brother I grew up with. How do you think they would feel? If they, if I just show their power, they would look at me as a freak! No longer than I already was! That's the reason why. My mom and dad, they probably already know my power. That's why I can only show my power when I want to. And no one, no one can stop me!
his tomb. You two got separated for a bit. Know your conscience. Wake up. <laughs> I know why you're laughing. I'm impressed. I've never faced someone with that kind of power before. I know why you were shocked. I do tell. Seriousness? I don't know. When I got when this channel first created, I existed. I don't know why. I don't know why it was me, but it was me. But I've grown to live with it. And you've grown to live with your evil, evil schemes. What kind of evil schemes have I caused? Traumatizing Sonic's friends. Thinking he was dead for good when you impaled him. I can't see any other evil thing. What does this have to do with you? We're not talking about me anymore. We're talking about you. The reason why I put you in this world is because you were a great antagonist. And you still are. You were you were put in the garbage game that shouldn't even existed. But it did have some great music, so I gave him a C plus. <coughs> you have good taste. So what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm sending you back to the real world. You'll be a great antagonist for season one. <sighs> Again, you have good taste. See you around, my dear friend. Conscience. Huh. It's like yin yang, conscious and unconsciousness. I'm gonna send you back too. But don't expect me to be merciful on you when you show your face again. To use this form on them. Uh, what if we're gonna tire some? Even though that blast was very tiresome, so anyway, it wouldn't have worked out. Well, that's nice to clean up. But before I do that, I have one more thing to do. <sighs> and there's the last one. This looks like a good hero cast for season one, don't you all think? Well, it's not that bad, but eh, you'll get used to it. We'll have more when the season goes by. Time to send them in. There we go. Well, season one's going to be probably awesome. Oh. oh. Gotta clean that up. I'll do that when the credit scene opens up. About three, two.